I'm Lily Taylor, I'm an actor, and I'm a birder. I'm also on the board of National Audubon, and this is my native garden that I share with my building in Brooklyn. Because of birds, that's how I got interested in native plants. One day I was looking out the window and I saw this monarch butterfly flying around and it kept resting on plants but wasn't eating because there was no food. Because all the plants there were actually uh, not from here. They aren't native. And, and at that time, Audubon had come out with the plants for birds. So it was like this really manageable way for me to find out what could be in my area, where I could get it. And so I did. The first thing I got was Joe Pie Weed, which is a native plant, something you see on the roadsides. I planted it and within an hour, the monarch was on the plant. And from there, I was oh, a no-brainer. I was off to the races. So one reason I got into native plants is because Audubon had come out with this database where you, it's plants for birds, and you put your, um, your zip code in, and it shows you everything that is in your area. And then you can even filter it in that if you want to attract more insects, or you want to attract birds, or you want to attract, you know, hummingbirds. Um, and so then you can even filter it down, and then it shows you everything that there is and where to get it. And when I planted the natives, I got results within one hour. I mean, this stuff is just, it's so easy. The thing with native plants is it's really just about discerning and choosing what, what you want to keep and what you want to, and all it is is pulling. You don't even have to, you don't have to do much cutting or anything, you just pull. You know, they found that just little patches can make a huge difference. Um, if, from a bird's point of view, if you're looking down and you just see building, building, buildings, no habitat, and then you see, and you're starving, and then you see this little patch, you can go down and hit it and get some food. They can make or break a bird's existence. Um, and so it's, it's not all for naught. This little area I have in Brooklyn really means something. Planting something, uh, knowing that it belongs here, uh, knowing that it's providing a food source for, for insects, for birds, seeing the whole ecosystem function. It feels like how things are supposed to be. And to have that feeling in this sort of disjointed, crazy world is really um, nice.